subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is racemos inflorescence chapter morphology of flowering plants racemos inflorescence now as studied in the last video in the case of racemos inflorescence the main axis never terminates with the flower growth due to which is indeterminate also known as monopodial growth and the flowers develop in acropetal succession that is the lower flower are the older and the upper one are the younger now this implies for all types of inflorescence that come under racemos racemos inflorescence can be divided into three types first where the main axis is elongated second where the main axis is shortened and third where the main axis is flattened we'll start with main axis elongated in which the first type is a raceme in a raceme the main axis never terminates by a flower and the flowers develop in acropetal succession and these flowers are pedicellate means pedicel or stalks are present now this is a simple raceme now when the main axis is branched and each branched is a simple raceme that is known as compound raceme or panicle when the main axis is branched in the form of a raceme and each branch is a simple raceme that is known as compound raceme or panicle examples of raceme are mustard gulmohar radish and neem and the trick to remember this is examples are a mustard colored radish eating neem leaves in gulmohar park a mustard colored radish mustard is for the mustard leaves radish eating neem leaves in gulmohar park the second type is a spike the only difference between a raceme and a spike is in case of spike the leaves are sessile sessile leaves means no pedicel present or the stalk of the leaf is absent so these are the sessile leaf flowers growing in acropetal succession example amaranthus acaranthus adathoda and acaranthus so the trick to remember is remember that these are all triple a they start with a next is the spikelet inflorescence now in case of spikelet inflorescence the main axis that is the peduncle is branched in the form of a spike and each branch is a spikelet in a spikelet inflorescence the lower there are lower two bracts that are empty bracts 
or they are referred as empty glooms as they do not have any flower in the axil. After which each other bract is a flowering bract. The flowering bract is referred as a lemma. So in case of a spikelet inflorescence, now, in each branch, the lower bracts are empty bracts, means they don't have any flower in its axil. They are known as empty glooms, after which each bract is a flowering bract as it has a flower in its axil and it is referred as lemma. In this picture, we can see these are the empty glooms, after which the flowering bloom or the lemma is present. Spikelet inflorescence is the characteristic of family poesy, whose older name was Gramini. Now this is the grass family or the cereal family. Next is catkin. In catkin, the inflorescence axis is thin, weak and pendulous. Pendulous means a hanging axis. The inflorescence axis is thin, weak and pendulous upon which develop unisexual sessile flowers. In acropetal succession. Example oak, this is oak and mulberry, mulberry that is shatut, morus alba and oak is your curicus. The trick to remember catkin, cat having an eye of oak and Moustache of Mulberry. A cat that is catkin having an eye of oak and a moustache of Mulberry. And last is Spadix. Now in case of Spadix, Developing on the inflorescence axis, this is the inflorescence axis, are unisexual sessile flowers. The developing on the inflorescence axis, that is the peduncle, are unisexual sessile flowers. The lower group of flowers are the female flowers, while the upper group of flowers are the male flowers. In between, no flowers are present and covering the whole group of flowers is a colored bract that is known as spate. Example, aeroids, coconut, banana, maize. Now, in case of coconut, it is compound spadix, means the main axis is branched and each branch is a spadix. Next is main axis shortened, which is of two types. First is corimb. In case of corimb, developing on the inflorescence axis are pedicellate flowers means they have the pedicel or the stalk. Lower flowers have larger stalk. While the upper flowers have shorter stalk. So that all the flowers they come to lie at the same level. Each flower develops in the axle of a
product. Example of which is candy tuft, that is chandni. Botanical name is Iberus. Besides this, Pyrus and Cauliflower. When the main axis is branched and main axis is branched in the form of a corymb and each branch is further a simple corymb that is known as a compound corymb. Example of which is cauliflower. Next is umbel. Now in case of umbel, the flower develop from the tip of the inflorescence axis. That is the peduncle. And the flowers are pedicillate. And they radiate in all directions. Flowers develop from the tip of the pedicel, sorry, peduncle. These are pedicellate flowers radiating in all direction. And each flower develops in the axle of a bract due to which a whirl of bract called involucre is seen. This is a whirl of bract that can be seen which is known as involucre. And this is a simple umbel. In case of a compound umbel, the inflorescence axis is branched in the form of an umbel and each branch is then a simple umbel. So this is a compound umbel. Example of umbel is centella that is known as brahmi. And besides this, umbel is the characteristic of family Apiaceae, whose older name is umbeliferi, that is the coriander family. So, example of umbel are coriander, cumin, phoeniculum, and the third type is main axis flattened which has a single subtype that is head or capitulum. In this, the inflorescence axis is flattened, forming a receptacle-like structure. The inflorescence axis is absent, forming the receptacle. These are the receptacle upon which develop flowers that are sessile and are also referred as florets. The flowers develop in centripet cent the flowers develop centripetally means the outer one are the older ones while the inner ones are the younger ones. The florets are of two types ray florets and disc florets. Now the outer ones are the ray florets which are either neuter or unisexual having female flowers while the inner one are the disc florets that are always bisexual. Present below the group of florets is a whirl of bracts called as involucre and head or capitulum is the characteristic of family Asteraceae whose older name was Composite. This is the sunflower family.
So examples are sunflower, cosmos, tag, tagetes, zinnia. So remember sunflower is an inflorescence and not a single flower. That's all for today. Please do like, subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.